One of the ways that the Romans worshipped here uh, was by throwing cursed tablets into the spring. These were sheets of lead that were inscribed with messages. These were often um, about petty thefts or crimes, uh, grievances that were sent to the goddess Solis Minerva. Almost all of them are addressed to her. Some of them state very, very specific things. We have um, the theft of a cloak, for example, presumably uh, stolen while the person was bathing at the Roman baths. But some are simply just lists of names. Perhaps the uh, person writing the curse had something that had gone wrong in their lives and they knew a few people that could have been responsible for it and they've left it to the goddess to decide. Maybe they're just particularly vindictive and they have a list of five or six people that they particularly want to punish. Either way, these were thrown into the spring, cast into the water where these people were communing with the goddess. This message would have gone directly to Solis Minerva and she would have dealt with your problems herself. One of the most magnificent cursed tablets that we have is this one here. Now this is a curse written in British Celtic, so the language that was spoken here before the Romans came. In fact, it is the only example of this language in writing. It's written using Latin letters, but as it's a language that we don't know, we can't actually translate what it says. But this in itself is something very, very special and unique. All of these cursed tablets are something especially unique because they are recorded on the UNESCO Memories of the World Register. This is a register that uh, tracks all of the important documents or pieces of writing that have been produced throughout history. And the Bath Curse Tablets are one of these. So this is one of the cursed tablets that was covered from the spring. And it's a sheet of lead. And you can see the inscription written across the surface here. It would have been scratched in with an iron stylus, something hard enough to make marks into the soft lead. This one has been rolled up and you can see the faint lines left behind where this would have been rolled down in this direction and our conservator has gently uh, unrolled the whole thing. Now, who wrote these curses is a bit of a mystery, um, but analysis bit has been done of the handwriting and of the language um, and of the phrasing as well. And it seems like some of them might even have been written by the same hand. So it's possible that people were paying at the temple precinct to have these cursed tablets written for them before they rolled them up and then cast them into the spring as a message to the goddess. This one is just a simple list of names. It's quite a long list of names. Um, but again, how do we know what this could mean? Perhaps this person had a lot of people on their list and they wanted Minerva to punish all of them, or perhaps they thought that Minerva would be able to determine who it was who'd actually done the ill deed against the person who's throwing the curse into the spring. Either way, they rolled it up, went to the spring, threw it into the water and let Minerva do her work. And there it lay for the next 2000 years before it was recovered by archeologists, carefully unfolded in a lab and now cared for here at the Roman Baths.